Hi, this is Dave with the Bel Air Company. I'm going to be replacing the power supply board in a Honeywell electronic air cleaner. It's a model F300. I'll show you what the problem is. Though before you poke around any power box, you should always make sure that there's no power going to it. So this is unplugged. And the problem we have is that this little high voltage resistor here, it's on a ceramic substrate, has a wire that's broken off of it. And so that might be preventing one of the voltages be coming out of this power supply. There's no replacing parts on this because they're just not available. The easy solution is you replace the whole circuit board and, and the circuit board comes with a you know a guarantee and it's been tested. So we just need to remove the wires from this first and then a couple of screws. We'll start with the, the high voltage red wire. This wire feeds the ionizing wires on the electronic air cleaner. You notice that this plug has a second wire piggybacked onto it and so all I have to do is remove one wire. And also notice when I wiggle the wire I'm wiggling it in the direction of the connector. I'm wiggling it this way, not this way. Now that's the ionized, that's the voltage for the, the collector plates. Now this is the 120 volts we're removing. This is the, the neon light plug. This is the plug for the airflow sensor. And we're all disconnected now. The next step is remove the two screws. This power supply is hooked up with these tabs on the other side, so we just move this forward and then we can lift it out. You see these little hooks here? Those will break easy, so be careful taking the power supply board out. So that's the power supply board. We can inspect stuff, make sure that there's been no arcing through the wires and stuff like that, and everything looks clean in here. And this is the, the new power supply board. It's a PS121A00 for the model F300E and F50F models. And it's, uh, it's a bit different. It doesn't have this circuit that failed in the past. They've replaced that. And so it's a new design, it's more reliable, and it's ready to go in. It has the connections in the same areas as the old ones, and the, they're labeled with the same numbers. So this is pretty straightforward. Got dropped in there like that. Screws down in. And we just reconnect the wires. Reconnect the airflow sensor switch. Reconnect the plug to the neon indicator light. Reconnect the 120 volts. These little red devices are surge protectors. If you get hit by lightning, you might see that those are blown away. Also, those are the surge protectors on the earlier boards. If you see the fuse blown, replacing the fuse doesn't fix the problem. That's just a fail-safe so that if there's a short circuit in the circuitry, it just doesn't uh, smoke up one of the, the components, maybe that one. It blows the fuse instead. But replacing the fuse won't fix the problem, and none of these pots are readily available.
They're all kind of special parts that Honeywell had made for their circuit board. You connect the red wire to the red wire connector. The black wire to the black wire connector. And that's uh, all there is to it. Now the power supply also came with this this coil that we put in line with the ground. This is something new and Honeywell decided this must be necessary to, to prevent uh, ground loops, is, is what I've read. So we take this out, ground off here, and we put that in line with it. Put that. them together first before you put the wire nut on. Put that in there. So that's how that looks now. Oops. <laughs> so that's how everything is connected. One of the things you can do before you start this project is take a picture of how everything is wired on the old circuit board. And that way if you run into any trouble you refer back to your, your picture. This connector here gets left unconnected. That's for a remote performance indicator that it's not used in this model. If this was connected, it would have a wire going to here. To this outlet here. And that's all there is.